In 2016, a lawsuit filed by a former NFL cheerleader from San Francisco claimed the National Football League severely underpays dancers across the country. Between game days, charity events, appearances, professional cheer is a lot of work for arguably not a lot of pay. In fact, the women are required to hold second jobs or be students. So why go through it all? I asked a couple of formers, and here's what they had to say. A Texan smile, girl. <laughs> I love the Texans right. and I'd love to cheer them on on the sidelines. Beautiful. I'm a trauma surgical ICU registered nurse. So I am doing a photo shoot today with Amelia to prepare for Houston Texans cheerleader tryouts on April 1st. Really pop, 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 pop. Behind the camera, Amelia McCammon knows a thing or two about life on the NFL sidelines. I was with the Texans for two years. It was an amazing experience. I gained lifelong friendships. While I was a Texans cheerleader, I was also an educator. I taught eighth grade U.S. history. But one day at practice, Amelia got noticed for something other than her dancing. The coach noticed I always had my camera around and she asked, hey, I've got this project. Do you think you can do it for me? The small project developed into a full service photography business, something this new mom never expected from cheerleading. Having a coach that believed in you to do, you know, there's a million photographers in the city of Houston that she could totally have picked and she took a chance on letting me take a few photos and it totally and completely launched this career of mine. So pretty awesome. We had teachers, engineers, students. Fox 26's own intern Dara Alicia spent two years on the team and is proud of who and what her teammates have become, though she says it wasn't easy. The crying, the tears, not making the teams and sometimes not making the game and I took that criticism and just flipped it around and made it positive. Young girls who looked just like me were just happy to see that I'm doing what they wanted to do, you know, and, and I'm giving them hope that they can still, they can live that dream. So yes, you can live that dream, or at least you can give it your best shot. And as you heard, it's not easy, but every NFL cheer veteran I've spoken to has said it was somehow worth it. So search for Caitlin Monty Fox 26 on Facebook. I've posted all the details on tryouts, which start April 1st. Plus, you can share more of Amelia's story with someone who you think deserves a little inspiration. In the studio, Caitlin Monty, Fox 26 News.